You won't let me work. I'm gonna do an unboxing video and send you off. If you guys wanna do an unboxing for a miniature Bull Terrier, let me know. She'll be on the next giveaway. This girl does not let me work. YouTube. It's Aubrey here. Hi. <laughs> How are you enjoying this beautiful night, Aubrey? Good. I love swimming. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're enjoying this beautiful night tonight and our spotlight broke, which kind of sucks, but that big light still works. <laughs> so we're over here hanging out, you know, thinking of ideas to do for the 300 subscriber. And we were going to ask you guys if you guys have any suggestions or ideas on what should we do as far as the giveaway. Anything. My son has a great idea that I honestly love. And for him to think about it himself, it's, you know, mind-blowing. So, his idea is to do... Well, let me tell you guys. He's really into military and army stuff. When he gets older, he says he wants to go to the army. So, we kind of want to do a military um, uh, giveaway. So, if you guys serve, you know, if you guys are still serving now, if you guys are veterans or anything, we would like to share pics of you guys, you know, when you guys were active. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do a straight military giveaway. So if you guys are okay with that, we definitely love that. You know, my son would be really happy. And the, sn the snakes that are going to be given away, he calls them army snakes. So yes, guys, the reason why he calls them army snakes is because of the color. So if you guys think that's a great idea, please let us know. Yeah, and give us a comment down below and we'd be happy to do something different. And if there's any other suggestions also, comment down below. We'll take a look and we're open. And for the 400th giveaway, my... I'm, I'm going to do an all-girls thing. Yes, an all-girls giveaway is what she wants to do. So if you're a girl, that's how you're going to win a, a snake, just mm -hmm. by being a girl. Yes. Yeah. Alright, and then for the 500th giveaway, which is going to be a pretty big one, we're going to do an under-18 giveaway. So all you kids, well, not 17-year-olds, I don't really call you guys kids, but you guys yeah. are still, you know, <laughs> uh, oh, you guys still have a chance oh, to win. Okay. So just, um... Let, let us know that you know we get approved from your parents so let us know we can send that snake out and yeah from then we'll have other big things for 600 700 800 900 till we get to a thousand subscribers and a thousand subscribers that one's gonna be the humongous humongous prize so if you guys like these ideas please let us know and comment down below until then guys thank you very much we really appreciate all your love and support so we just got done having a nice you know swim time with the fam and we walk in to two moms giving birth. One mom has these, that one's giving birth to those over there. Um, it's okay guys, I have two rats and with one, with two moms, trust me, we've done it before and they're totally fine. One of them probably end up taking care of all of them because one mom's probably new like that one. So she'll end up taking care of all of them, it's totally fine, trust me. And now we found these two ready to blow up and you guys can see by their bellies they're ready to burst and when they get like this I'm telling you guys right now tomorrow they will both have a good 10 um, rat pups each if not more so we have those right there then we have some other food over there zoom in that mom had some right there we literally came into three moms just giving birth to 10 pups each and then we have these two that are about to burst and we don't have enough room. So I am making homemade cages for them, literally. I had to feed off all my mice so I could put these two in there to my, for my snakes. I have these guys homeless. It's crazy. I have to get another, I have to build another rat rack tomorrow. Uh, yeah guys, if you guys are gonna have rats, trust me. When they say they're gonna, they they produce easily and quick. Oh man, we have a rat overload. All right, guys. So then we're gonna do something a little different. As you guys can see, all that freaking rat infestation was pretty crazy. So what we're gonna do is just I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorite snakes that I never really bring out to show you guys. I usually just you know show feeding videos of them. So let's take a nice little tour with me and let's look at the snakes I'm talking about. So right here, we have an emperor. If you guys 
I'm not too familiar with emperors. They are a three gene snake. I put it over here on the whiteboard. So an emperor comes from a butter pinstripe pastel. And that's her right there. Isn't she beautiful? She's definitely one of my favorites. One that I'm really, really looking into breeding. And yeah, got her from her. Got her body of what? Seven months ago? Beautiful snake. Next. And this is a very simple gene in a way. But this butter pastel. There's another one I like. Right here. Oh, I just think he looks really, really nice. And I'm actually going to be wanting to put him with the Emperor female. Gives me really good odds for blue-eyed leucistics and a lot of other crazy stuff. Like if you guys were to, you know, type that in genetic wizard, you guys will see all the crazy stuff those things will give me. And then, of course, our banana. I literally got him when he was only about, I think like 70 grams. And now he's like a whopping 320. He is so cool. And the good thing about him that he is so docile, I swear. I mean, this one, you could literally just keep on playing with him. He won't ever hiss or anything. And he's starting to get those little black little dots on him, like all the other bananas do. And as you guys could see, I went back to um, paper on um, on the youngsters, the ones that had the aspen, just because it was the humidity when they would spill a little bit of water was getting way too hot in there, like too high, I mean. So we moved it back to paper, but we did keep the reptichip. So if you guys are looking to get into reptichip for adults or semi, like adults, dude, that stuff's great. But for the little hatchlings and juveniles, I would stick to paper and aspen for the winter time. So here's my pewter lesser. Another beautiful snake. Back in here. And of course, you guys literally just saw this one, I think last week. And I love this guy. It is my GHI hat clown. Look at that. That's one of my other favorites right there. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was busy going over there handling all the rats. Yes, making sure everybody's okay. We're good. <laughs> A lot of rats, guys. A lot of them. So yeah, back to the GHI. Can't wait to put them with a lot of my Mojave females. I love this guy. Oh. Oops. It's a little feisty. I don't all I don't give all of my snakes hides, but sometimes when I bring them in, if they don't eat when they're hatchlings, by putting a um a hide in there, literally within a day or two, they'll eat again. It just makes them feel a lot more comfortable. But I'm sure you guys all know that. Then I have my pastel champagne look at this guy he is so awesome but if I were to pick a favorite 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 like to say my favorite snake that we never get rid of will be this Sumatran blood python right here and there's nothing too crazy about her like to say like oh man like her markings are very similar to any of the blood pythons i mean there's you know she doesn't stand out in any way besides her you know dark head the other one's a little more grayish but the thing about her is when i got her actually i got this one i actually had ordered her and she had a respiratory uh, uh chest infection and so everyone was telling me oh put her in the freezer just kill her off and you know, just get over with before she infects everyone. So I talked to some local breeders about, you know, um, 
carrying them with the F10 SC and then just doing these little things with them, putting up their, taking them out of all their bedding and putting them in paper towels and putting up their temperature high so you could kind of, you know, knock out that, you know, um, fever and um, infection and it worked. After that, she started eating better than any other little hatching I had. I had her at 130 grams and now she's 330. And that was in like three, like what, three, two months? Two and a half months. Two and a half months. So, I mean, I grew very like fond of her. So I would never ever get rid of her. And of course, we have another one that I like. Is my calico female. Look at her. I have a big sugar, but she's not as high white as this one is. As you can see, she's super high white. And I really want to put her with um, like a spider to get a collider and you know other little things like that. No, 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 get back in there. Tina, get me the the orange dream pinstripe. So everyone knows I just got that one, but I'm super in love with that thing. Get back in. Uh, either or. And you can put that one back in there. And of course, the ones you guys just recently saw. The one that my wife called a tiger. Look at that. I mean, gosh, that's a beautiful snake, man. Super awesome. So yeah, guys, those are, you know, I would say some of my favorites or my favorite favorites for sure and i never really bring them out just kind of just show their feeding dates but i mean the, when they feed so yeah guys so let us know what you guys think about the um this ideas that we had as far as the giveaways and you know if you guys have anything else in mind let us know but till then guys thank you very much and really appreciate everything